Got a developing story now. Carjackers strike again across Chicago. At least three were reported within about six hours overnight. There have been more than 200 carjackings in the city this month alone. WGN's Eric Rung live on the north side now with details on the latest round of attacks. Eric. Well, good morning. The same set of suspects uh, police say were involved in two carjackings right here in Edgewater at the intersection of Thorndale uh, earlier uh, or rather last night. Now, earlier today, police were out here and they were trying to canvas this area looking for surveillance video. You see that there is a bank here behind me and likely will be able to get some kind of surveillance video from there. The other carjacking this morning happened just west of here. Chicago police this morning saying the carjacking in Kilbourne Park went down like many others in Chicago. A group of two to four suspects work together. Two to three usually get out with guns. Sometimes they force the drivers out of their cars. Other times they wait for their opportunity to strike, like in this case. Well, I was here just waiting for my friend to start working. And um, a car far behind me, uh, they wait for me to get, get out of the car. As soon as I got out, uh, they pulled guns out and they stole my wallet, his wallet, and the car. Yeah, oh, and his phone too. Edwin Ngonso says three men did the work, two had handguns, while two others, including a child, waited in the car. There was a lady inside the car and one, uh, one kid like four or four year old. Around 1130 last night, a 56 year old man and his teenage son were parked in Edgewater when again a team of four pulled up in a car Two hopped out with guns and forced them out of their Volvo. But before taking off, police say they spotted a BMW and decided to take that instead. No one was hurt in any of the carjackings. The BMW was found in a west side alley around three this morning. So far this year, Chicago police report close to 200 carjackings in the city. That number, however, is likely greater due to the way some carjackings are classified by police. Carjackings increased by more than 130 percent from 2019 to 2020. The Tribune reporting last year was a 20 year high for the city. Recently, police have been making surveillance video of carjackings public. Chicago police have also added 40 officers and four supervisors to a carjacking task force to try and reverse the trend. Police believe the increase is due in part to gang activity, teens joyriding and the pandemic. People walking around with masks don't raise any red flags anymore. I'm scared. I'm a little scared. Just let's just say people to be careful. Now, police have made about 100 arrests that are in connection to carjackings, including one just this week of a 14 year old who police say was arrested for a connection to about more than a dozen carjackings dating back to the summer, including one from just this week of an off duty Chicago police officer. We're live in Edgewater. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.